Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for this early morning episode Bob TV featuring the 105 Thunder Chief 10 minutes at a time <laughs> Okay everybody I had me a day off yesterday yeah, I loafed and I watched football all day long. Then guess what was on last night? The Survivor Final. Oh yeah, go Fabio. <laughs> that was the best Survivor ending ever. That was really good against evil. <laughs> Fabio, you rock, man. If you watch these videos, send us a donation, brother. <laughs> No, I am going to get this freight train rolling, people. I got to get this Thunder Chief done. I'm going to set this camera here all day. And I'm going to work. And I'm going to make a bunch of videos. So I had a lot of questions on how I glued these wings together and stuff. And uh, we're just going to give you a step-by-step, -step, all day camera running action. Without the drama. <laughs> and uh, this little weak spot right here, this spot that was kind of floppy in that duct, I'm going to double up with some carbon. I got a bunch of scraps. I'm going to put a couple layers of carbon in there, man. That'll stiffen that up. Now, I was kind of halfway thinking about scrapping that other wing, that first wing. Not really scrapping it. I can keep it around and, and uh, use it for, you know, to show how it was built. But uh, it's got a couple issues. Nothing major, but I, I made my bulkheads just a frickle too small, man. They, they need to be just a little bit bigger. And uh, I'm going to work on that, though, after I get this vacuum bagged. I'm going to go ahead and build my structure with the parts I got and then put it in this wing over here and kind of put it back together because, see, I already got the parts cut out for this. But I'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting, mainly just on a couple ones. And uh, make it come out a whole lot better. We're after perfection here, people. Not perfection. We just don't have to deal with... We can make it better. That's the point I'm making here. And just kind of use that first one as a mock-up. The <coughs> bad thing is, I'd have to go buy another piece of foam. <laughs> This foam's 4 by 8 sheet. 4 by 8 sheet is enough to get my wings, rudder, stab, uh, my horizontal stabs, my flaps, and my ailerons. I got enough for all that stuff, but that's it. None extra. So it's basically one sheet of foam per plate. Okay, enough with the talking. Okay, I got my piece of foam here. It's just kind of rough cut. I want to line up this back edge. I want to make sure this back edge is covered. Okay. And I'd rather just trim a little off this back edge. Now, on that back lip, I'm just kind of pressing this into it and it'll leave an indention. ain't no hurrying with it. Then I'm going to have to take my heat gun and I'm going to form this, form it on this leading edge. And I just want to not really experiment with this foam. I just want to see what, how it's going to work out the best, you know. It's not that I'm a super perfectionist. I just, uh, want things to come out nice. <laughs> I better get the old Bobo specs on here. Okay, now I can see, see I can see I've made a pretty good indention where I need to trim.
Bam! Beautiful. Okay. Now, we want to do that up here, but we kind of want to press it down. We want to, want to cut this in a little bit on the long side, just to prickle. Notice, we mean, Paul noticed that if we trimmed it too long, it was harder to get in that radius. And it, and it wasn't bad at all. If we trimmed it just a little bit long. You see that? Bam! Okay. Now we need to go ahead and trim. This edge here. piece here is trimmed to fit. And I'm going to go ahead and just make it pattern. 